What is up guys? My name is David Sanchez here for another Blender Rookie and today we're going to talk about a wonderful tool called Storyboarder by Wonder Unit. And the best part of it, it's totally free. Hey guys, what's up? This is David Sanchez. Like I said, I wanted to show you guys this new call program called Wonder Unit Storyboarder. It's a program made for, of course, logically, storyboarding. And the cool thing about this so if I give you a demo here, uh, I want to show you guys uh, very lightly what is the program about. It's very cool. Uh, up here we have our tools. We have our, our pencils, our pens, our markers, and erasers. Up here we have, over here we have our color palettes, and we have different colors. We can change the colors here with just a click and change them up if we wish. Uh, also we have our brush sizes here uh, where we can write. Let me change my color. Over here we have our trash can. We also have, if we undo that, we also have our move tool, our scale tool. We can scale, we can undo, we can redo. We also have our grid, our center grid, our rule of thirds grid, our 3D guide, and we also have our onion skin. So on your skin, for those who don't know, we'll show you the before and after frame of your canvas. Very cool. So over here we have our captions and captions will appear when we have dialogues under here. You see this option right here where it says dialogues. If we click on that, our dialogue will appear here. And finally, we have our Photoshop exporter. So we can export our storyboard automatically to Photoshop so we can do a little bit of editing or we can paint or use other tools that probably you won't find here. Up here, we have our canvas in the center. Down here, we show our canvas previews. If we have some right here and there, there. So we can see our little previews. And then on the lower, we have our timeline. And right now it's based on two seconds per uh, frame right now. Over here we have our properties and where we can mark if we're gonna make a new shot or, or not. And also we can assign how many seconds or how many frames will our board will last. In this case, for every thousand millisecond, our board will be 24 frames. Over here is our frames. So for one second, you need a thousand milliseconds. Uh, for example, if I'm going to do 30 seconds, I have to hit 30,000 uh, milliseconds for 30 seconds. You can see it down here on the bottom left, bottom right. You see our seconds. This one has two and this one has 30. Very cool. Very cool. Let's bring this down to 2000. Right here, like I mentioned before, is our dialogue. If our character is going to say something at that moment of that frame, we'll write it right here. Down here, we have our actions. If our character will do something or is going to act in a certain way or look in a certain direction, we can write down here. And down here, we have our extra notes, whatever you want to put right there. Uh, we have our layers, and we're going to see what the layers do in just a minute. Here on this bar, we have our opacity. We can change our opacity and we're going to teach you. We're going to show you that in just a jiffy. What I want to talk about is one of the coolest options that this program has is called the shot generator. And let's say in my case, I don't know how to draw that much. So usually my drawings are stick figures. Yay. But we don't want that. So let's say I want to describe a shot and here. We're going to describe the shot that we want. And let's say I want a male with a close up and we just hit enter and we got our mail with a close up. We just double click and we have our mail. And now the only thing that we have to do, if we just have to draw like little eyes, little bitty eyes and say, Hey, he's looking that way. But let's say that, uh, I wish it wasn't so close up. Well, down here we can change our data. We can change the shot description. So let's say a close up. I want more like a medium close up. Uh, and then we grab our shot here. So we got our medium shot, but I don't want him looking to the left. I want him looking straight forward. So we just change that shot right here and say he's looking forward head front. Uh, 
but the lighting is not the right one. Ah, I wish it was a little bit more like front lit. And then we have our shot front lit. So look how awesome is that? So it, at least it gives us an idea. We can even draw based on these models. Um, there's so many options here. We can change if he's standing, if he's walking, if he's running. In this case, or we can uh, say if it's outside or inside. We can uh, we can change if uh, on where in the composition he's at. If he's in the last third and centered, or or, or last third down here. Uh, we can also change if it's a bird's eye view, we can change that to bird's eye view or high. And so, so we got so many different shots that we can use this for. And you don't need to know how to draw. Another cool option about this, well, I can print a worksheet. And here I can say, hey, I'm, I want four rows and five columns. And that'll change, it'll update. Or I just want three columns and three rows. It also changes. And what we do with that is we print it out and once we finish our drawings, we can snap a picture and import that to the program. How cool is that? And automatically the program will know which are our shots and will import them into the program. I'm gonna show you an example right here. I drew these drawings on paper, right? And uh, really quick, really dirty, you know, it's just stick figures, like I said. And once I was done, I just imported that drawing into the program. And here I have my shot. Like you can see over here, I have my dialogue, how many seconds is gonna last, the action. Yeah, I can turn on the uh, caption here and you can see the little short film that I made with this. And it gives me an idea and how my story is gonna develop and how it's gonna look like. It's just a, it gives me a visual of the shots that I want. So this is very cool guys. Um, and actually based on this little, and actually I did these little shorts based on these drawings and I did it with my home camera and using Blender. So check it out guys. Are you late for work and can't find your keys? You searched and searched and your keys are nowhere to be found. It could be a little bit frustrating, but no worry no more because you have the new Super Find My Keys. That's right, with just one click, Superman will find your keys for you. Now you don't have to be late for work anymore. Super Find My Keys. All right guys, it was a little silly, I know, but you know, you get the point. Uh, go download it guys. I'll provide the link down below so you can guys can check it out And if you have any questions, don't doubt in writing and I'll do my best to answer all your questions if I can. Alrighty then guys I'll see you next time and next time I'll show you how to make Superman come out of your couch too <laughs>